Well, no, whatever. Hi guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Just in the Fibs in the Bohemian and Fibs where Billy's gotten off to speak up. Billy, you went for three trees. Since it's gone three three, the weather's horrendous, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. I'm surprised the match actually went on. And I'm also surprised that Talis Bain got called off as well. That's for another day. For another day. So who's going to win? Still going 3-3? Three, 3-3, three? Three, three, yeah. Yeah, chickening out of it. What? Chickening out of it. Yeah? I can't, I can't really hear it. So chickening out of it. Yeah? Right, I'll go nil-nil. I think, though, it's going to be like a sloppy game. Yeah. You won't see a lot of, like, passing all around. You see a lot of hoop because of the way the weather is. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's not going to suit players like Clark and Forrest, or really, is it? Players can get on the ball. But they can get into the box and maybe nick breaks and stuff like that. Who, who did you get the key players for Bohemians tonight? Afalami, Dylan Connolly, one more. Uh, James Clark still. And for Pats, who are the key players, you think? Joe Brown did not Forrester still. And... Will Rainey playing? I think he might, yeah. Yeah. Go with him. All right. Yeah. It might be a game that suits him either, but look, you can see he's in there, guys. Yeah. Lads, pitch might, pitch might be playable here, but I don't know if you can tell, really, but the conditions are absolutely horrendous. It's really windy. Um,
Oh guys, just in the car, that's why it's a bit dark after uh, Bohemians uh, went down 2-0 to St. Patrick's Athletic at Daly <laughs> Park. I try to be serious, but look at the face of them beside me. Um, yeah, an interesting game. I have to say, overall, I've seen a half time. The quality was decent considering the, con the conditions. Stop looking at me like that. Um, it was decent considering the conditions, I have to say. I thought Bowles are most of the kind of running, if you like, in the first half and most of the pressure um, Linus pulled off an unbelievable save at 1-0 he's saved Pat so many points this season um, you do wonder if he was there at the start of the season be interesting but um, I think he's probably the best keeper in the league to be honest with you um, I probably wouldn't have him in team of the year because he only came in the second half of the season type thing but anyway digress a little bit um, yeah I mean there were chances there um, that was a brilliant save by Linus. Pats looked dangerous more in the counter attack. Forrest had a chance save by Talbot, and Mark Doyle had a chance just wide as well. Um, Bowles and Mustard running at times. Pats looked dangerous counter attack. Second half, I thought Bowles started okay. Tried to put pressure on Pats. Um, I don't think Clark and Affinalavi really got sniffed tonight, if I'm honest, which I mean, Affinalavi's hold of play is excellent and ha was excellent. But Pats were letting them hold it up so he couldn't spin in behind and was kind of like, okay. He can do this. We'll let him do this. He's not going to spin in behind. They didn't give him a sniff in terms of chances. Clark was okay in the first half. Done some good things, as you'd expect from Clark. Second half, I think his influence waned completely. I think Forrester took over in midfield as well. He completely controlled it at times in a half. Um, you know, at times it looks effortless and it looks easy, but he completely controlled it in the half. Brilliant goal for Mark Doyle, to be fair, to give pass the lead. What a header, 1-0. You're telling him to get across defenders. Brilliant goal. He's done that quite a few times the last few weeks. And the messy goal for the second one from Bo's point of view. Talbot saves. Um, a weak enough shot, but the conditions are kind of letting him away with it a bit. Bart just boots it off Carty and it goes in. <laughs> and Pat's got 2-0 well, up. I just, but that's what happened. And Pat's, Bo's just lost confidence then. And um, Pat's in the end ran out deserved winners. Um Billy thoughts overall? Um, yeah. <laughs> you covered it all, I'd say. Pats probably did deserve the win. And yeah, Mark Doyle's header was good. He went across the defender as well. And there's that, do you know that Bart shot? 
Mm. That was such a good shot. Oh, that was a good shot oh. where he chops in, to be fair, in the second half. I, I have footage of it. I think it was going to hit the post. Linus didn't yeah. know that, but it was rising. Like, it was it was a good effort. That was fun. Yeah. Was um, so fun. And to be honest, um, even though Paul Ball said they must have run the first half, only enough some of the best chances fell to Pats in general, you'd have to say. Um, but that was a brilliant save by Linus. Uh, and that goes in. It's 1-0 and the game can be different. But uh, man, the match... Thought about this, and I know he got taken off. He was a bit tired, and as I said, Forrester ran the second half, in my opinion. Um, and they defended very well, Pats. You know, Redmond, Norman, as a pair, defended very well. As I said, Bowles didn't have many actual chances. Um, but for me, Keen Levy, I thought Keen Levy was excellent. His ball carrying was excellent. Dribbling ability, winning free kicks, uh, picking up pockets. Um, I think it was really good. Would you agree with that, or...? Yeah, I think though, yeah, he was good. Mm, yeah. yeah. And there's actually another chance that when it was nil nil, Chris Forrester was in. Yeah, I mentioned that actually, oh, and yeah. uh, I was expecting a audacious chip to be fair <laughs> there, but um, from Chris, you know, but um, yeah, I mean, Pats look like they're going to finish um, definitely third, possibly second, believe it or not, because um, Derry, I think, were held tonight, the man sent off against Shelburne, uh, and Bowles. A little bit precarious, a little bit precarious in terms of finishing top four, never mind top five now, which or top three, which is interesting. Could be, it could be a case of Bowles have to win the cup uh, to actually get into Europe. Pats looking like they're go good for Europe, I think, even though they've Shamrock Rovers and Derry, I think um, they should be okay, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Let us know what you think in the comments, if you're at the game, what you thought, what should the people do, Billy? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to push your... Bell notification button for more videos. Mm, you might get his revenge in the cup final season later. Oh, I will. <laughs>